Hello everybody, it's Penny Shelton here and today is Thursday, September the 2nd. Today's video I wanted to make it as soon as possible and it is a video to honor the life and the work of Dave the Raw Food Trucker. Many of you have most likely had your life touched in one way or another by Dave's story. If you don't know Dave the Raw Food Trucker's story, I'll have a link underneath this video that you can go and check out his story, what's happened, all of his YouTube videos. We have that posted in our media center here at Raw Food Rehab. But Dave is one of the most genuine, authentic, loving, amazing people um, in the raw food community, in my personal opinion. I, from the very first time that I was exposed to Dave's story, I mean, I was just compelled to meet him. I haven't met him yet. I know the day's coming soon when I will. But Dave, at one point, was very morbidly obese. And, and yes, he is a truck driver, so he didn't get a whole lot of physical movement. But for about 23 years, this guy was super overweight, like over 400 pounds. And um, when he got the message about raw and living foods, it was like a light bulb went off to him and he got it and so he went into that lifestyle whole hog I mean 100% overnight pretty much Ron Living Foods along with the protocol of juice feasting which he learned about in the book There's a Cure for Diabetes by Dr. Gabriel Cousins of the Tree of Life Institute so Dave is a huge fan of Dr. Gabriel Cousins and over the last couple of years he's been able to reverse a number of grave diagnoses, like he had diabetes, he had cancer, I mean his internal organs were starting to shut down. I mean when you weigh over 400 pounds, things just aren't going well. It puts a tremendous amount of strain on your internal organs. And so um, he's lost over 200 pounds. He no longer has diabetes. His blood sugar levels are totally normal. Um, he no longer shows any signs of cancer. But all that being said, um, you may have heard that Dave has been admitted into the hospital in Seattle, Washington, and I just wanted to say that that is the truth. He has had a stroke and possibly a heart attack, and I know that that is very shocking information for when I first heard it, I was just like stunned, you know, as, as he was when he found out what was going on. But the, the, the thing that I really want to say to you the most important thing I think that I can say right now is that Dave is doing well. He's recovering and um, and he's strong. I got to hear his voice yesterday and uh, he's, he is making great progress. The reason that this happened is probably several fold, but the most important thing that he wants to communicate to the raw food community that it wasn't the diet. As a matter of fact, the diet has helped him in so many ways, but Dave has had a, um, a condition for many, many years, atrial fib, fib, I can't say the word, atrial fibrillation. That's about as close as I'm going to be able to say it. And that was the one prescription that he was continuing to take up until recently for this heart condition that he has had for many years, way before he ever went into the raw and living foods diet. Dave has been under a tremendous amount of stress lately, professionally, and some things in his personal life are just, you know, things have just been challenging, and you all can totally relate to that. I mean, we all have situations in our lives, so I think that the heart condition, coupled with the additional stress that he has been under, is most likely been what has triggered this episode. Now, um, you know, he's been told by doctors that it could be up to seven years eating the diet that he does, it could take up to seven years to really heal that circulatory system. I mean, it, it does take time. And, um, you know, once you have a tremendous amount of plaque buildup in your arteries, um, juice feasting and the raw food diet is probably the smartest way to go to reverse that, but it doesn't happen overnight. And so, um, I am believing that this situation, even though it it's unfortunate and sad that it has happened. I believe that it is going to take Dave even to that next level of understanding and education. And um, Dave has just really served tirelessly in the raw food community. Um, I have never known of someone with such a generosity of spirit. I mean, he shares his knowledge and um, 
teachings so freely with anyone. I mean, he is so passionate because his life literally has been changed by this practice of raw vegan living. And the, the cool thing is, after having heard from he and his best friend, Tressa, who's there by his side, making sure that he gets raw food and juices delivered into the hospital because he's like, dude, I am not eating hospital food. There is no way I'll water fast before I do that. And so the hospital is working with him on his terms. And um, he is still as 100% committed to the raw, vegan, organic lifestyle as ever. And I just see that so much good is going to come out of this. So I am posting underneath this video the statement that his best friend Tressa has publicly put on um, out to the, those people who are following him on his brand new website, the therawfoodtrucker.com. Um, she sent an email blast out late last night with, with this statement, and I'm going to include that underneath this video. So the main thing that I want to do is put a call out today to if, if your life has been touched by the work and the ministry, I might as well just call it that, of Dave the Raw Food Trucker, I would ask you to think about or pray about possibly donating to him. I mean, it looks like he's probably going to be out of work for months. And Dave has never been in a position in his adult life where he is needy. I mean, he has always given to others. And so it's very difficult for him to even allow his friends to put up a donate button on PayPal. But um, I'm 100% supportive of it. Raw Food Rehab is going to be making contributions. And I am just asking those of you who feel so led to donate to this wonderful, amazing man, now would be a very good time to do that. Um, I'm going to be adding that PayPal account information as well as his personal address if you feel like you would like to send him a personal check. Um, you know, this is just a suggestion. I think it's the, the, the number one thing that we can do to support him right now is our prayers our well wishes, our thoughts. And if you have anything that you would like to personally share with Dave the Raw Food Trucker, please feel free to put that in the comments underneath this video. I will make sure that Dave gets every single comment. Um, right now, I just know that that would uh, fill his spirit and his heart so beautifully to know what kind of an impact that he may have had on your life. So please feel free to share that here with us. Um, and, and again, I'll make sure that he gets all of that information. So you guys know that I love you. Dave says the show must go on. He's planning on still facilitating and being the master of ceremonies at the second annual International Day of Juice Feasting in Seattle, Washington, which will be a week from this coming Sunday, September the 12th. We can certainly support him by if you're in the Pacific Northwest and you're able to be physically present at that event, that would mean a lot to him. But if you're not in that area, we're going to be streaming that event live right here at Raw Food Rehab on that Sunday afternoon. We're going to have that streaming live video on our main page. We're going to have the chat room up. We can ask all kinds of questions. We've got Matt Monarch and Angela Stokes Monarch and Elena Love and tons of people are flying in that are going to be involved in this tribute to Dr. Gabriel Cousins and the healing modality of juice feasting. We're celebrating that as a raw food community. So I've talked enough. If you have any questions, now's a great time to ask them in the comments below. And if I don't have an answer to your questions, I'll make sure that I get an answer for you if, if, if an answer exists. So I love you guys. I'll be back and I'll keep you posted on Dave's condition as more information becomes available. See ya. Bye.